Capricorn, this is Soul and Capricorn. Um, we're going to take a look at your uh, energies for this upcoming week, potential energy that is, uh, beginning July 13th and ending July 19th, 2020. Uh, the energies are going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Capricorn Rising signs. All right, my fellow Cappies, I hope all is well. Please sit back, relax, and I hope that you enjoy your reading. What's up Capricorn? This is Soul and Capricorn we're going to take a look at your energy this upcoming week. This is a new week. Uh, not necessarily a new deck that I'm using but I am using the 8 coins uh, tattoo tarot deck to deliver your messages. All cards are in the upright position and just a quick um, uh, update here. Uh, Capricorn I will be uh, opting in uh, for their um, YouTube's mid-roll advertisements, commercials. They sent an email out the other day and uh, it's, it's a situation that I guess they call their, you know, themselves helping the creators uh, and it's going to be set up as a default. So I would, I would have to necessarily go in and shut that down if I didn't want any commercials to run midway through, you know, the readings and whatnot. And I know for uh, a lot of people that is a turn off because it is a turn off for me when I go to other YouTube channels and I just want to get to the the guts of the information and whatnot. But I feel that this uh, is the way that things are going to be um, going in terms of the direction. Uh, and like I said, they're trying to help um, us out as creators for you know producing this uh, content. Um, and most of the content uh, that is up is free. Not a lot of creators are being sponsored. Uh, when you hear about these people who are being sponsored, they're actually being paid uh, handsomely to produce content. Okay, uh, I am not. I'm just, just you know, somebody who is just on here and want to share my gifts and whatnot, and ain't trying to be rich, ain't trying to become rich. No. But it doesn't hurt to have a little bit of, um, you know, energy to come through to remind you that, you know, what you're doing uh, is worth the energy that you're putting out there uh, for. Okay, so Capricorn, that is my little speech there. <laughs> let's get on to your energy here. Um, let's see what energy is going to potentially come up for you this upcoming week. Your shadow energy, we're going to start off with uh, Capricorn, is the, um, I did say all the cards were in the upright position, I must have switched them around. Uh, we have the Two of Wands here, okay, the Two of Wands is showing up here, and this is the energy that may play out along with the rest of the uh, cards that will be revealed for you. And as all we say about the Two of Wands, it's about something not moving fast enough for you, it could be some sort of, you know, lack of progress, something stagnating. It's the number two, it could be um, that energy that is attached to another person uh, that you're dealing with. Otherwise, it's for those uh, Capricorns where, you know, I always say this is the card of ideals being formed, uh, planning things for the near future. Uh, but you may just be writing things down, planning things down, or planning things for the future, I'm sorry. But you just may not have all the resources available just yet. Now, in the event that the Three of, three of Wands, uh, Six of Swords, Six of Wands, the Chariot shows up here. Whatever it is that you're uh, planning to do, uh, you more than likely will execute during this time frame, okay? The 13th through the 19th. Fire sign energy represents Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Your focus for the week, however, is on the Two of Cups. Two of Cups. If any of these cards are in the reverse, I'm, I'm reading them upright because I said that they should be in the upright position. Two of Cups. So your focus, uh, Capricorn, is on relationships coming together, being invited out. This is my invitation card. Uh, the Cups do represent children, so it could be some sort of aspect uh, connected to a child of uh, Capricorn or children of Capricorns. Uh, this is also too representative of uh, contracts. The handshake here, an agreement. Something to do with an agreement or a handshake coming together in unity. Um, so yes, spending quality time with your significant others, that which could be uh, you know children again, extended family members, or some other family members. Uh, development of romantic, platonic relationships could also come into play as well. Peace and harmony, being on the same page. 
seeing eye to eye with one another. It's all about those relationships. Big invite, possibly being invited out um, to go somewhere and then enjoying each other's company and quality time spent. All right, so Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces represents that uh, Two of Cups. Now we have the Justice card. So I always pay attention to uh, the first two cards. The Justice card is crossing in your immediate environment, and that could just, because of the handshake, that could be that, you know, that unity. Someone, I'm thinking that somebody could be getting married in front of the Justice of the Peace. The Justice card being the Major Arcana, though, however, is something in your favor. Justice being served. So I could be reading for some Capricorns who just works in that capacity, but something is coming back into balance for you that may have been out of balance for you uh, in your recent past. Uh, and just think about this. It might have been that someone was experiencing uh, a little bit of shakiness on, you know, concerning their relationships. Now, they, relationships meaning all relationships, not just romantic. Something may have been, in, you know, out of balance with your child, um, your um, family member, extended family members, your friends. OK, but just as being uh, on your side and coming back into balance. Uh, so, yeah. Justice represents Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. Up next is the um, King of Wands. Okay, I had to look at that to make sure. The King of Wands, because I'm calling, at least called two cards out wrong already. King of Wands is showing up here, so you're focused on some type of energy here. You're passionate about something, possibly Capricorn, things heating up. Um... This is still card, you know, when it shows up here, queen or king, sexual energy, sexual expression. It's a uh, court card, so it could represent an actual person. Uh, elders that I always say could be your father, could be your uh, grandfather, your mother, or your grandmother. All right? But you are passionate about something. You're focused on something. And because he's in the direction facing this way, it's your future. So it could be something that you're focused on and you want to um, carry through or see it through coming up, that you're passionate about it. All right, so next up is the Seven of Pentacles. So this is a card of options. Uh, this is also a cord card that represents um, someone could be getting a pay raise, someone could be getting a job, someone could be getting a bonus. It's uh, also about options. So there may be some other types of options uh, that may become available for you since the king precedes the seven of pentacles he, he's looking at these options so that's where i'm getting that there could be other options that open up for you or become available for you uh this upcoming week capricorn this is your own energy it represents taurus and virgo as well okay so um also to always say working hard for to get those coins that's the energy of the seven of pentacles up next is the uh, Seven of Cups. Okay, so now we have the Seven of Cups. This is a card that is um, very tricky in a sense, but it's, uh, it oftentimes comes across as being neutral for me. It casts an illusion like the devil in the moon, and oftentimes the high priestess. So the cups represent the other people that you're dealing with, Capricorn, all right, I including kids, children. So the uh, options, just like the Seven of Pentacles, there could be some uh, options that are available for you. But with the Seven of Cups specifically, it's, it's usually in a relationship of dealing with other people or having an option to pick and choose related to another person. But always pick and choose if it is a relationship to another person that you're choosing what's best or what's going to be best for you. Um, because the only thing that comes out of this, if you do not um, choose accordingly, is a disappointment. Okay, so you don't want that. Uh, again, the cups represent children. It also represents Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Uh, so make sure that you're dealing with people um, that you know in the way that you need to deal with them, and not the way that you want to deal with them. And that includes situations as well, Capricorn. Deal with the situations that you need to deal with the way that need to be dealt with. And the only reason why I say that is because if you simply, ref no, not simply refuse, but if you choose not to do that, there's always this element of regret. And so I'm giving you a heads up as to what to do in terms of, well, not what to do, but what to look out for. And, and giving you the best 
um, options that are available, um, you know, for you to take. All right, so next up is the uh, Magician. This is the Magician here. Major Arcana, the Magician is showing up here. Always two sides to the Magician, as I always say. Positive aspect is that Capricorn, whatever it is that you want to bring into your life, your, whatever your focus is, focus of manifestation, whether it's a new car, new house, new relationship, a new job, all of that could be manifested and taken care of uh, this upcoming week on the positive side of the magician. Now, the negative side is, well, you can just look at this card here and you can see the big black hand. That is like, what does that mean to you? That means, uh-uh, something is not favorable here, right? So this is the card where I actually read the magician as an actual person. This is a manipulator. This is a uh, liar, a cheater. This is a sociopath. This is a narcissist. And you can tell... Um, for somebody out there, and it's fire behind the hands... Then we have what appears to be a rose that is pierced with a sword. So that is a message for somebody to pay attention to their relationships. Someone could be under the influence of a sociopath or a narcissist, may not know it. <clears throat> These people are, you know, uncaring. They don't care about you. They will gaslight. They will love bomb. It's all part of the game. So they've targeted you or will be targeting you for something that they that you, you know, that you possess that they want. They're like vampires. They need to suck and draw energy out of you so they can sustain themselves. Without anybody to have an attachment to these individuals are very, very sorry. OK, they're sorry in the sense that they just are lifeless. So they need to deal with other people to make themselves feel relevant. And it's a source of income. I mean, not an income, but it's a source of um, energy for them through other people. But their only um, energy relates to having to destroy because they don't know how to love. They don't know anything about love. And they get fake love to get what they want. But normally, you know, the person sticks it out with them long enough because they think that they're in love with them. Only to find out that they, they were in love with themselves, maybe. Uh, but they weren't in love with that person. Now, this could be a family member. This could be a, a, a you know romantic partnership now. This could be somebody that you happen to meet based on the two of cups that is showing up here as your focus. And then you have the um, King of Wands, which could represent uh, an actual person, which could be you. Um, and so, yeah, you could meet. Be very, very, remember I said, it follows the Seven of Cups. If there are choices that are available, make sure that you are picking from the right choices. So that's the uh, Magician on the negative side. Uh, yeah, the sword going into that rose. Yeah, it's not a good uh, energy there. Next up is the Two of Swords here, Capricorn. So, conflict, just a little bit of confliction. Um, having to feel like you're at a crossroads and making a decision or a choice. <laughs> Mirrors the Seven of Cups, which is all about options and choices. Um, could be just a minor alternative path to take wherever your destination is going to be. If you're traveling and you're rerouted somewhere or you choose a different um, you know, area to, to travel to. The blindfold just only indicates that, you know, you're not really um, blinded to the fact that you need to make a choice and that you will make the right or correct choice for yourself. So it's temporary anxiety, temporary, um, you know, stress, a little bit of ambiguity. Oh, what do I do? Do I do this? Do I do that? That type of energy. Last card for you, uh, Capricorn, is the uh, hangman. And the hangman is here major arcana and usually the hangman is about 
suspension, something being in suspense, sitting on the fence. For me, it's like all of those things, but uh, whatever you got going on this upcoming week, uh, Capricorn, in terms of making sort of choices or decisions, this hangman has just given you the opportunity to give yourself enough time before you move forward, okay? Whatever the importance is um, for you that you need to take your time, but because it mirrors the cups, other people, other relationships. It could be those relationships. Also, it could be something uh, in relationship to your work or your finances. I forgot to mention that the justice card could be someone being rewarded. See, someone being rewarded some money through um, a decision or some sort of legal aspect here. Now, that could be, again, uh, when the pinnacles show up here and I'm getting justice or the emperor is always related to, it could be related to uh, someone receiving money through the means of, it could be just workman's compensation, unemployment, it could be social security disability, somebody gets rewarded. So when a decision is made, because the king is right in between those two energies that I'm just describing. All right, so Capricorn, this is what I have for you. Very interesting energy for you this upcoming week. Let's see how it plays out. Whatever you choose to do this upcoming week, Capricorn, I always encourage you to do it safely. Stay strong, stay positive, definitely stay healthy. And sending you out quite a bit of love and light your way until I talk to you again.